Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is your reading for Tuesday, the 8th of November. Let's see what you're going to be working with today, what the energy is like. And it's such a pleasure to, I know I always say this, but it's just such a pleasure to be able to do these readings for you guys and that you watch them and that we can look at this together. I love it. So let's see what's coming up. And this is the Druidcraft deck, which is a wonderful deck. And I don't know if it comes across on the camera, but the, the cards are huge. They're, they're big. So just be aware that if you have little hands, then you may want to get the small version if they have one. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the chariot in reverse. I love her. She is, she looks like someone who performed at Eurovision in 1975. I love her. And then we've got the four of pentacles in reverse and the high priestess. Okay, so the chariot and um, this Valkyrie Eurovision lady, she is victory and success that's what the chariot represents okay so because it's in reverse you're not galloping into this triumph things may be a little bit different things may feel a little bit more calm a little more reflective and things aren't loud and bombastic and galloping and there isn't applause it's a much quieter period the next card the four of pentacles this guy is a miser who has this secret box of treasures and he sneaks in with his little um, soft shoes there so no one hears him and he, he unlocks his box in the middle of the night and privacy so that no one can steal things. It's paranoia, okay? And he's hanging on to things which really don't make him happy, which ensnare him and trap him. And that's in reverse. And what that's saying is that it's time to let go of something. And the thing that has not been successful and victorious, it may be time to reevaluate that. Because the truth is, what your job is today is to embody the High Priestess. She is very powerful and with you today. And the High Priestess is all knowing. She studies, she learns, she reflects, she listens to the guidance that comes through. She's intuitive. We've got this magical cat there in the background. So she listens to what the answers are. And she learns and she studies. She's got this book and she does not take action. She steps back and she reevaluates and she thinks maybe this may not be the right way forward. And the message here is you've been galloping forward with something that hasn't worked out and you've hung on to it and you've said, I'm going to make this work if it kills me. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And that could be that can apply to work, money, relationships, your health, anything. You know, if you, if you, I mean, I know people like this who have food allergies, but love that food and keep eating it. And then they're like, well, I will, instead of cutting out this food, I'll take an antihistamine to get rid of the allergic reaction. And then they worry about the side effect. So it's about really looking at what you're doing, understanding that, it hasn't worked yet. It's unlikely to work. And you may have to kind of change your approach a little bit, change your perspective, reevaluate and move in a different direction. You know, the insanity, the um, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And that's what the message is here. Do things differently and you will have success and you will build treasures for yourself. Seven and four is 11 and two is 13. One and three is four and four is security and structure. So for security and structure, you have to do things differently. You're not going to get it from pursuing this path you're on. It's not helping you. So don't torture yourself by banging your head against the wall continuously. Step back and do things differently. It'll work out much better. So I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab. You can order your reading with me there. Please remember to subscribe and I'll speak to you tomorrow.